In this video, we will be looking at how to navigate and edit the quick menu. The quick menu is what our cashiers will be working with at our point of sale terminal. We will be editing the layouts and the actual buttons within them for our cashiers to press. When we open our quick menu tab, you will see three areas. To the left, we have our global menu items list. In the middle, we have our actual quick menu. And to the right, we have our menu set titles. When you touch on an existing menu set title, it will highlight in blue and load its corresponding quick menu. The quick menu consists of seven tabs along the top and seven tabs along the bottom. This is a fixed amount of tabs and cannot be increased or reduced. Remember, each tab works differently from one another and can be set up with a different number of rows and columns. To begin, let's give our first quick menu a screen name. I'm going to call this Snacks. The way we name our tab Snacks is how our cashier will know which quick menu to pick when they're processing a snack transaction. In our screen, we can see our rows are set to seven and our columns are set to seven. Creating a seven by seven grid. We can change this at any time by using their respective drop-down menus. Remember, the number of rows and columns that you have affect the size of the buttons for the cashier to press, as well as the text that appears on the button itself. When working with the quick menu, it is recommended to give yourself a lot of space to work with before finalizing your rows and columns. Let's now add a menu item to our quick menu. We're going to add some items to our snacks screen. To do so, simply click and drag from the global menu items list and drop onto a quick menu button you want it assigned to. Once added, you will see the menu item appear along with the default price. Let's go ahead and add a few more items. Now we can make changes to the appearance of these quick buttons. To change the color, simply select the menu button and use the color dropdown to select a color, like so. It is recommended to use light pastel-like colors so that the buttons are clear and easy to read for the cashier, as the text on the button will always appear in a black font color. To highlight and select multiple menu buttons at once, simply click and drag your mouse over the menu buttons. You can do this in straight lines like this, or even in unique patterns like this. This way we can set the color of multiple menu buttons at once. We can also press right click to cut a menu button and paste it in a different spot. We can copy several menu buttons and paste it too. We can also copy and paste items into a different tab. This is useful for when you want to duplicate frequently purchased items like drinks onto multiple screens. To remove a quick menu button, simply press right click and select remove. Removing buttons from your quick menu does not delete items. The menu items will remain in your global menu items list for the next time you need them. If there's ever a need to go back to the menu item details from our quick menu, we can also right click on a quick menu button to find the item. The system will automatically expand the division, the group and category of the menu item and point us on top of it. Let me clean up this screen a little bit.
If you are pricing menu items directly, those prices will appear on the quick menu buttons. If you're using price levels to set pricing based on your individual location or who the pricing would affect, like an employee price level, for example, then you can use the price levels dropdown menu over here to show the correct prices on your quick menu buttons according to the appropriate price level that you select. And that's how we set up price levels. Thank you for watching.